Hey everybody, it's me, and I'm working on this app for a client who wants to have a daily recurring task list, right? So here are the tasks, and he wants these tasks to uh, basically reset themselves every day. Now, the initial thought is having a checkbox, a true-false, right? You're checking things off. Um, and so this works, right? You can check things off and hide things once they're checked or move things around once they're checked. But the only problem is, is that a true and a false value has next to no automation in terms of resetting themselves. The only way you could really do this is by creating a script in Google Sheets to clear this column at the end of the day, right? So the only way you can really do any sort of automation in Glide is if you reference time, right? So if you want to have something that resets every day, well, you need to know what day it is and be able to compare dates and times. So what we're going to do is actually forego this status column here. And instead, we're going to create a new column called last completed. And this is going to be a date column. And then we're going to do some conditions based off of this last completed. Now, to, so instead of checking things off of a box, um, what we're going to do is create a button that's going to put in a timestamp of the last time it was completed. And that's how we're going to check to see if something has been completed. So here is just a very simple layout of this particular task. Uh, these tasks are in this list, as you see here. I have them categorized by whether they should be done in the morning or at the end of the day, and now they're also grouped by department. All right, so then let's say this task needs to be done. Uh, what we could do is we can dive into this task, and then we're going to create a button here. And this button will be something like uh, complete task for today. Icon. Checkbox like this, maybe, right? And then what we want to do is we want to create a condition where they push this button and they get some sort of notification, right? That automatically happens now. Hooray! <laughs> I love how they default now to the show notification rather than the open link because um, it's harmless. So then, show notification, maybe play a sound and then also complete the task, right? And again, we're gonna complete the task if it was completed today. So we need to be able to do a variety of things. So to do that, we're gonna create a multi-step action here. We're gonna create a new action, and we don't have any conditions tied to this action, so we'll skip off, we'll skip this add condition box. And the first thing we're gonna do is mark this task as completed today. And again, we're gonna use the timestamp. So to do that, we need to use a set column action. And we want this item. That's going to be the, the row that we're currently on. And I'm going to move my face off to the side over here now, so it's not in the way. And we're going to set the last completed to the current date and time. Right. So this timestamp is basically going to be, if it's today, then true, otherwise false. Right. And we'll set up that condition in the data editor. Okay, and then some novelty things. Then we're also going to um, show notification. We could say task complete. And we can maybe play a sound. There are a variety of sounds. I wish you could preview the sounds here, but you can't. Uh, let's do new thought. I think that's the one that gets kind of pleasant. And then maybe even go back. <coughs> so we'll choose the go back action. Like so. All right, we're going to save this as complete task. Save. All right, so... When we push this button, we should hear a sound, we should get a timestamp, and we should go back a screen. There we go, all right. So obviously that really didn't do anything. Our task is still here, right? That's because we haven't set any conditions yet. 
So we're going to go over to our data editor, and we should see now that this last completed is the current date and time. Perfect. So now we need to create some if-then conditions to say, hey, if it was completed, then we can uh, mark, you know, clear this off of our to-do list. So first thing here is let's shorten this up a bit. That way, in case we want to display this, it's not going to take up too much space. So we're going to edit this date and time column, and we're going to make this a short date format. It still includes the time, which is great. Uh, we might want to display this in a certain way. So I'm going to create a last completed display. Typically what I do, I use this word display when I'm converting just some data to um, a pleasant string or a pretty string that we're going to display in the app. So I use a template column for that. And we could say last completed on and I'm right. Anything you want, I usually use a symbol like a number sign or something. And then we can get the last completed. Okay. So we could see it was last completed on blah, blah, blah. All right. And we only want to show this if it's complete. If it's not complete, meaning that there is no last completed here, or if it's actually, if it's, um, if it hasn't been completed today, right, then we want to show maybe in the word incomplete. And so here we're going to create an if then column to say if complete. And what I've been doing lately is just using this symbol to show what I'm doing if it meets that. So if complete, then a status. Right? Helps me to know what this column is all about. And then I do an if then else. And we're going to say, OK, so if this last completed is within today, meaning it's happened at some point today, right? then we'll show that template column. We'll do the last completed display. Right? Otherwise, we're going to show incomplete. <clears throat> so you can see that, let's say I completed this job yesterday on the 18th. Since it doesn't happen within today, then their status is incomplete. But the moment we complete it for today, then uh, it'll show that it's completed. <clears throat> and so now we have um, a, some, some conditions that we can use to display our list and to hide our list and things like that. All right, let's go back to our app. <clears throat> and now we can display that information maybe in this bottom corner here. So under the caption, let's do this if complete status like that. <clears throat> All right, so... It looks decent, except for the fact that it gets cut off here. So maybe not last completed on. Maybe let's just say completed on. Let's see if that fits better in that space. Yeah, it's getting warmer, but it's still missing the time here. <clears throat> and now it's cutting off our morning tag as well. So I like it down in the bottom right-hand corner, but I don't like that it cuts off everything. So what I'm going to do is not have it in the corner, I guess. And maybe we can make it the header instead until I play around with it. <clears throat> so we can see that it's completed on or incomplete. And maybe we want to show an icon right before it. Right, just so we can get some visual reference as well within that header. So let's do this. I'm going to grab my emoji tools here. And obviously completed is usually by a check mark. And incomplete, maybe we'll have like a question mark. OK, so if it's completed, then we want the green check mark. We'll just add that to part of our template here. Yeah. The incomplete we can mark as part of this template. The if then, like that. All right, so now we have 
was completed on or this gray check mark, which is kind of hard to see, isn't it? All right. So because it's hard to see, let's go ahead and maybe we'll pretend uh, it's an empty box instead. So let's do like a white square, maybe. Do, I'll try this one, but otherwise this one might work. We'll see. That green X is kind of strange. Let's see what that looks like. So instead of the question mark, we'll replace it with a square. All right, that's decent. <clears throat> Not completely in love with it, but it's it's okay. So if they're so it looks like they kind of check the box, right? All right, so if it's incomplete, it's got a white box, and it says incomplete, right? But otherwise, it says completed. And so here, if they're ready to do this next task here, right? Um, they can complete the task for today, and we should see that it gets completed in our list. And there we go. Cool. All right, so then let's say they want to dive back into this, right? We shouldn't be able to complete it a second time for today. So what we can do is hide this button if it's complete and maybe show something else if it was already completed, right? So let's create a second button. And the second button could maybe be a bordered style. And instead of having the title of complete task for today, maybe we can show the complete status like that. It was last completed on. And in this case, we're not going to have an icon, so we'll trash the icon like that. All right, so now we have two buttons, but we only want to show one at a time. All right, we want to show this button when the last completed is before today, I'm guessing. Um, if it's before today, or if it's never been completed, meaning that the last completed is empty. Okay. So for example, on um, this log print count, we want it to show up because not only was it never, it was, so this one was never completed at all. So right now that column is empty. Or if it's before today, meaning that maybe I completed it yesterday, right? We want to show this button. So because these two were completed today, that button doesn't show. Instead, we have this button. And this one, we only want to show when that last completed is within today. So we're going to create a condition for this button where last completed is within today. All right, so this one, only this one button shows, but the moment I push the button on the nozzle, to, this is for log print count, right? I'm going to complete test for today. And now if I go back to it, you see that it's completed on this button here. Um, and then this button is going to have a different action altogether. Um, we don't want to complete the task again. Maybe we want to say like already completed, right? So we could just show a notification maybe that says already completed for today. Push button. This little notification saying it was already completed for today. And then go back. All right, so this is how you can go about creating a recurring checklist where you have a checklist happening every day. And if you have any questions on how to set this up for your own app, feel free to reach out to me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.